Right, so, in preparation for the DLC, we have some stuff to accomplish. And starting with, well, you probably can surmise, right, from where we are, Rune Farming. So we're here at the Palace Approach, using the Sacred Sword and the Wave of Gold skill, right, to farm all of the nice little Albanax and get some juicy, juicy runes. Now, I'm using a macro to do this, right? So a macro is just basically a recording of a series of uh, inputs, in, in this case, keyboard inputs, that are then being replayed and allowing me to farm this automatically without any inputs. I can go, I can leave, I can use this overnight, which is the big thing for me. And the reason for this, right? In terms of DLC, I'm not trying to hit max stats. The whole moral, you know, quandary, if you just try to power level, you might as well cheat, right? It defeats the purpose of the game, it ruins the fun. What I am aiming for is simply the ability to hit the soft caps of every single stat, right? And that way, once I have the soft caps, no matter what I come across in the DLC, item, spell, weapon, whatever, I can use it straight away. I don't have to go respec, I don't have to jump through all these hurdles, I can just use it then and there and have fun with it. And so, hence why I want to farm runes. Now, there are two level brackets that achieve this, right? The initial soft caps for the majority of stats can be achieved at level 420, while the the uh, realistic soft caps, right, where they have the highest impact for all their different effects, for instance, uh, dexterity, you have things that scale with dex, but then you also have its impact on casting and all these other metrics, right, can be hit at level 599. Now, 599 is 884 million runes, which is halfway to max level. So I don't think I'm going to that. Instead, I think I'm trying to trying to power level to 420, which is 241 million runes. And that would be level 40 vigor, mind, endurance, and 60 and all the other stats. Again, being the soft cap for scaling and everything. And most importantly, being able to equip and utilize different spells, magic, and whatever I want, regardless of what it is, which is again, what I really want to achieve going to the DLC. So yeah, that is my overall goal. If you want to, you know, do this. I mean, you know, this this farming spot is not new, right? It's been around for ages, for ages and ages since Elden Ring, you know, was out for a month or so. It was quickly, quickly learnt of. But yeah, a macro, right? Easiest way to do it if you're on Windows and PC, uh, Microsoft Mouse and Keyboard Control Center, right? Free to download from Microsoft if you have Windows and is compatible with mostly every single device, right? Uh, you might have to set something up, but generally speaking, that's gonna be your go-to for setting up a macro. And then all you have to do is record your inputs, right? And we'll go through what exactly we are recording in a second. But for me, I have a Razer mouse, so I am using Synapse uh, as my macro, right? In fact, you know what, we might as well end the macro. And I'll just pull up here. I think it'll run one more time because of where we were. All right, perfect, good, okay. So yeah, so this is the Razer Synapse. And basically, we have GFEE, which, if you didn't know, is the uh, quick menu to teleport with a favorite grace. So G opens up the, the map on a keyboard, F, your favorites tab, E selects it, and then next E teleports to it. So by doing this, the only grace I have selected is the palace approach, making it you know nice and quick to teleport here. Now, I did do a lot of testing with trying to line it up so we could just run forward, right? Use the skill and then run back to the grace. The problem with this is when you rest at a grace, your character alignment shifts ever so slightly, right? And eventually you will desync. No matter if you perfectly align and set up so the starting point and the end point is exactly the same, it will eventually desync and you will walk off a cliff, you'll walk off that cliff, you'll walk down to the Almanax and die anyway. So altogether, although it is more runes per hour overall, right? In fact, again, manually farming this will still be more runes uh, per hour overall compared to a macro because of the teleport, because of the loading screen, right? It's just, it's impossible to macro it, right? It's just going to desync one way or the other from some sort of, of interaction. So the best thing to do is teleport because every time you teleport to the grace, you will be placed exactly in the exact same position with the exact same camera setting. Speaking of the camera, one thing I would highly suggest is you to turn off camera auto rotation, right? And that way the camera will never move from its fixed position and will always follow the same sort, uh, the same course, right? Every time the macro goes off. And again, we're just trying to build consistency. Another thing I am doing to ensure the safety of the runes and the ability to run this overnight 
right, when I'm away from the computer, is not only do I have a sacrificial twig equipped, I also am using the flask with the tier that mimics the sacrificial twig, right? So basically I have double rune protection just in case something does go wrong, right? So when I click N, that's my uh, toggle for the macro. It will wait a few seconds. This allows the runes to accumulate, then it'll teleport back to the grace. It will then walk in a straight, then diagonal line using the flask, making sure we have that rune protection. And then it will eventually use the skill on the sword. Now I have this all set up to the keyboard, right? So I've eliminated any mouse use whatsoever. The reason personally for me is uh, razor mouses apparently suck and you cannot turn off their sleep time right? The longest you can set it to is 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, it will still go to sleep, in which case the macro will break. So instead, I've bound the skill of the of the sword to shift M, and that way all inputs on the keyboard, making sure that, again, I can run it all throughout the night. I can farm up the runes while, you know, I'm not doing anything important, because this will, you know, eliminate any other use of your computer, because it's still using inputs. It's not just the game running in the background, it is using the keyboard input. So if you want to do something, you know, off to the side, that's not going to work, right? But we'll end the macro and we'll just go over the actual inputs that I did record. That's got one more cycle, I might as well let it run, right? So the reason I am pathing in this specific way as well is to try and make sure it's the most optimal, right? So that should be the shortest distance to the correct spot to be able to hit all of the Albanax. You do miss out sometimes on the actual uh, armed ones, right? Depending on how they wander, walk, or position. But generally speaking, this has has yielded the highest rates or consistent rates of, of runes being in this location. So if we look over here again, again, we have the, the map input. So G to open it, favorite tab, E to select it, then E again to teleport. Then from there, we have W. We have E holding down to open up our quick select menu, and then from there up to use the flask. Now, in terms of the gold pickle foul foot, which I could assign, you know, to one of the quick slots as well and make it easy enough to put into the macro, one thing you have to be wary of is A, every three minutes you have to reuse it, right, which can throw off timing. But then you also have to realistically think about, well, how many gold pickle foul feet do you have to find? Because you cannot buy the four prong foul feet for whatever reason. So I do highly hope that there are a few new bells, right? It doesn't have to be for the golden fireflies because they're easy enough to farm, but definitely for the foul feet, hopefully. But regardless, right? So I'm not going to use them because I'd have to farm up like a thousand of them to hit the objective I want anyway to have them up 100% of the time. So that's just not going to happen. So I'd rather, again, just be able to run this overnight when I'm away from my computer to get my runes to that appropriate level to again hit the soft caps for all the stats. So going to the DLC, no matter what I come across, I can use it straight away. Now going back to the macro after that. So again, we have the hold down E in order to bring up the quick menu up to use it, then close it. We have A, which is that, that diagonal walk, right? So we're not letting go of W. Then we have shift M, which is going to be our skill. And then from there, we release A, W and shift, and then it loops and goes back into the quick map, right? So nice and simple. Now I'm not going to, you know, uh, I don't even know if I can export it. I probably can, but it probably only work with synapse anyway, right? But the reason for that is me giving you this, this macro setup is redundant, I think I, I personally feel. And the reason for that is loading times are completely different, right? Because we're sitting through that menu. If I could set it up optimally to rest at the grace, right? And everything was done in the one game screen, sure. But with the loading screen, I've had to tweak these these numbers to make sure A, the stall but before we walk back to the grace is correct, right? As well as the use of the, the flask and everything is dependent on, again, your average loading time, right? when teleporting to the grace because that will be the most variable aspect of it but again I'll, I'll scroll through and you can see the rough numbers if you do want to set up the timing yourself but again a macro is super easy to set up right uh, in terms of policies i believe there is nothing against it right uh, in terms of personal play for pvp Obviously, macros are, are frowned upon. I don't think anti-cheats can detect them, but it is frowned upon, right? And I do think it is against the actual rules. So if you are going to do this, maybe do it offline if you're going to use a macro. But yeah, again, personally, it's not to take the fun out of the game. In fact, it's just to enhance the fun and allow me to save time and be able to use everything new the DLC offers to the fullest. And that's really what I want, right? Just to be able to play start to finish, without any nitty pickiness, right? Having to completely redefine a build just to find out something is shit 
or something is great, right? Just to be able to utilize everything straight away. So I'm going to farm this for a long while, right? Uh, it is, it's roughly 10 hours. It's going to take me to hit that first uh, 420 level bracket, right? The soft caps for the stats, the initial soft caps across the board. So yeah, that's going to be fun, right? Probably two nights overall. So it's not too bad. Again, that's why I want to use a macro. Uh, personal play, do whatever you want, right? However you enjoy the game is how you should enjoy the game. This is what I'm doing. Ground upon it, do whatever you want, but yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See ya.